Okay. So when I talk about myself, myself Lakshman and I have a total 16 plus years of experience. I worked on older versions of 11A, later release 12, now on fusion applications. And I have a skill set of finance, PPM in case of EBS, PA and SEM, supply chain management. Finance, this is what we are going to learn. PPM, Project Portfolio Management, and PA, Project Accounting, SEM, Supply Chain Management. I'm expertized on the, all these areas. Now the targeted course is financials. And when we talk about these batch timings, these are the timings we are going to follow. So 8.30 p.m. IST to 10, 10, 10 p.m. IST. Okay, one hour, 30 minute session from Monday to Friday, five days in a week. And the total duration would be three months. Within three months, we'll be able to complete the course. And when you are planning to do this course, you have a two options. One is you can attend the live classes if time permits. If you are quite busy and these timings are not suitable for you, you can plan for recorded videos. Videos are very, very detailed. We extracted from the live classes. You get the videos from very, very latest batch. And when you go through the videos, if you have any questions, you can make a note and our team will connect. I'll be available and we can discuss. Mostly you don't get questions because most of the questions are asked in every batch. Before asking, I explain in the better way. So that's how you can find the recorded videos. Even if you subscribe for this current batch, you can attend the live classes. Along with that, you will get the previous batch recording, recorded videos also. So this is all about the two options we have. Somebody raised question on the same. If you have any other questions related to this, please. I think Sharma. Yes, you have answered my question. Thank okay, you. Okay, great. Yeah. And another uh, point is, say if you subscribe this course, you may attend a few classes later, you may not continue. You no need to worry about it. Once you subscribe the course, you can attend any one of the batch up to one year. It could be any batch, evening batch or morning batch, any batch you can choose. So you can, you may subscribe this batch and you may attend one month. After that, you may stop. You can inform to our team. They'll make a note. You can tell them what next batch you are planning to attend, morning batch or evening batch. Accordingly, they can communicate with you and you can be part of the next batch. Up to one year, you can be part of any batch. If you want to be, you can be in the multiple batches also. Yep, somebody raised hand Yeah, Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, uh, to add your answer, one question that, uh, let's suppose I joined and after two weeks in between, uh, one or two days, I am not able to join due to some emergency or due to office work. So would I get the recording session for that particular? Yes. Okay. Once you subscribe, you get previous batch complete set of videos. Along with that, in every session, whatever we discuss that we record and you get on the same day. Even if you are going to miss one or two days sessions, you'll get the recorded video. You can go through it if you have any questions. So you can make a note and you can ask in the next next session. If you are not going to attend the next session also, no worries. You can talk to the team and they can arrange the call. That's Fantastic. how we can do it. Yeah. Any questions here about timings or these two options, please? No questions. Now. So what is the course name? The course name is, okay, I just already written here that you can take. The course name is Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials. Within Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials, what we are going to learn? We are going to learn about applications. We are going to learn about applications. So you know many applications we are using on day-to-day -day base like WhatsApp application and Facebook application and 
LinkedIn, or Twitter. These are the different applications you we know. These all applications are pretty simple applications. WhatsApp, you can learn within five minutes and you can use it. Even if you don't learn, if you start using, you can learn it. There is, there is nothing much functionality within that. You can add the contacts, you can have a what, WhatsApp calls, or it could be voice call or video call, or you can do the chatting and you can share the videos, images, that's all. And you may put the status. It's a very limited functionality, limited features we have. That is just for messaging purpose. The same way take Facebook, there also the purpose is very much limited. You can share the information with the friends or others, or else you can have a company pages there you can just communicate the information who are following the page so very much limited functionality or features however we have this whatsapp and facebook in the same way there are certain applications which are part of financials okay any company is going to record their finance related data in their books or system these applications can be used. If they are going to record in their system, they need applications there to record their finance-related information. What kind of finance-related information they have to record in their books or in the applications, we will discuss very soon. But here, simple point is, as a part of this course, we are going to learn applications which are part of financials. Okay, finance related to record the company finance related data. We are going to use these applications the same we are going to learn. What does it mean by financials? It's very simple. Wherever money is involved, that relevant business transactions, the relevant data we call as financials. You may make the payment when you purchase something that is a finance related transaction. When you sell something, you get the payment that is a finance related transaction. When you have a bank account, that is a finance related data, the cash, whatever you have in your bank account that is related to finance. If you have a properties that is related to finance. So this kind of information, when, when you make the payment, when you receive the payment, when you have a bank account, when you have a properties, these areas of information we record in the system as a financial related data to maintain such kind of information, what are the applications, we have those we call as financials applications. Okay, within the financials applications, what we can record finance related data, finance related transactions. We'll go more detail level. First, let me pick the term called as Oracle. So what does it mean by Oracle? When you talk about Oracle, you can say it's a company name. Oracle is a company name. In other words, you can say Oracle is a database name. So, when you look at the term Oracle, it has some meaning. So every letter represents certain, the definition of the Oracle. So the, there is some abbreviation for Oracle. When you talk about this Oracle, O stands for Oak Ridge and R stands for Relational, A stands for Arithmetic, C stands for Computing, L stands for Logical, E stands for Engine. So, Oak Ridge Relational Arithmetic Computing Logical Engine. So, here when you look at this R A C L E, okay, relation, uh, I mean, so first go, Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge means that is the laboratory's name where this product was designed and developed. The rest of the letters represents the meaning of database, relational, arithmetic, computing, logical engine. That, the, 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 those are the characteristics, uh, characteristics of database. So that is the meaning of Oracle. You can take the simple manner. Oracle means company name. In other words, you can say Oracle is nothing but database. Both are true. One way you can say it's a company name. In other way, you can say Oracle is the database name. Yes. The company who developed the database the database name is also Oracle. So that is the point we have to understand. Oracle means database or company. Okay, applications. Applications, as we discussed, Facebook, WhatsApp, and there are many other applications which we are aware. And how that application 
can be managed. If you talk about application, so this is how application can be managed. So there will be database where we can store the data. You don't need to go and store the data directly in the database for that you can use the pages or forms. So in the Facebook, you have a, some user interface, some screen, there you enter the data, it will go and sit in the database. If Facebook team wants to run some reports, how many new users subscribed or registered today, they can run the report so that they can get the report. Not only that, any kind of information they want to get, simply they can run the report and they can view the data. So there is a database where you can store the data. To input the data into database, you can use the pages or forms. By using the pages or forms, you can store the data in the database. And if you want to view the data, you can use the reports. The collection of these three components only we call as application. You take any application. You take Facebook, you take Twitter, you take uh, WhatsApp, any application you take, there'll be these three components. There'll be database to store the data. There'll be pages or forms to enter the data, to store in the database, to view the data, to analyze the data, there will be reports. With these three components, we can define the application. Application means database, forms or pages and reports. So that is the meaning of application. So this is what we discussed. Oracle means database or company name. Application consists of pages, database and reports. Now, what is the meaning of financials? Okay, what is the meaning of financials? We'll talk about what is a fusion and cloud. Let's try to understand what is the meaning of financials. Very high level we discussed. Financials means what deals with the money that is a financials. So when you talk about company, what information we treat as a financial information? Okay, so before we jump into the, what is the meaning of financials? What are the different product families we have or different categories of applications we have, we'll see first. We are going to learn financials in the same way there are different applications like SCM, supply chain management, PPM, project portfolio management, HCM, human capital management. There are different areas of applications we have. We'll just go through very high level. Finally, we'll just try to understand what is the meaning of financials more detail level. So when you talk about financials, here there are different product families from Oracle. Okay, from Oracle, there are different product families. So we have a Oracle Financials, Oracle SCM, Supply Chain Management, Oracle HCM, Human Capital Management, Oracle PPM, Project Portfolio Management, Oracle Procurement, in short, you can say PRC. These are the different product families. Why it became family? The applications which deals with the finance related information, those all are grouped into family that is financials. The applications which deals with the supply chain management, those all are grouped and that we are calling as SCM. The same way, people related applications, employee related applications grouped and those we are calling as HCM. And project related applications are grouped that we are calling as PPM. Procurement related applications are grouped that we are calling as PRC or say Oracle procurement. So the relevant applications are grouped into different product families. So when you talk about financials, within that we have a set of applications. In the same way, Oracle SCM, we have a set of applications. In HCM set of applications, take any product family. It is not like just one application group of relevant applications. You take example of employees. So we maintain the employees data, we run the payroll, the, the options management, talent management, the time management, there are a lot of information we have to manage related to employees. For those each and every areas of data to maintain the HR data, employees data, one application, to maintain their payrolls, another application, to maintain the entire uh, employee timesheet separate application, that's how there are multiple applications which we use for employees purpose. Those all applications are group that we are calling as Oracle HCM, Human Capital Management. Human Capital Management means it's related to employees applications. In the same way, each product family talks about multiple applications. Going forward, we'll understand more detail level. As of now, just make a note of this point. We have a different product families 
if you are going to learn this, these are separate courses. If you are going to use for the companies, these are the different solutions. If you are going to use this for your company or your client company, these all we call as different solutions from Oracle. If you are learning, simply the same solution we are calling as a course. Now we are going to learn the course called as Oracle Financials. Okay, within Oracle Financials, what we are going to learn? Okay, and after learning, what title we get? So this is the title. Once you learn this course, you can apply for the jobs with this title. All are same. You can represent with the different naming conventions. So Oracle Fusion Financials, Oracle Fusion Financial Consultant. For this course, if you learn this course, so these are the titles you can get. So this is the designation or positions you get. Oracle Fusion Financials Consultant. You will be called as consultant for financials. And we'll understand what is the meaning of fusion. Oracle Fusion Cloud Financials Functional Consultant, Oracle Fusion Financials Functional Consultant, Oracle Fusion Finance Consultant. Instead of calling as a financials, you can call as finance consultant also. Or else you can call it as Oracle Cloud Financials Consultant. Here you look at the term called as functional. Functional. Okay, functional means usage. The meaning of functional means usage. You take any applications, not only Oracle applications, you take any applications in the market, there will be three categorizations with respect to two overall usage. There will be a functional part for every application, there will be technical part and admin part. So what is the job of admin? The admin can install the applications in the server, that's all. They install and they maintain the application. When we talk about technical, if certain pages, whatever company required, if those are not available in that application, those can be developed by developers. The developer can develop it. So admin part, there could be DBS, database administrator or apps DBS, apps admin will take care of the applications. So admin can install and maintain the applications within the server. The technical, when you talk about technical, if something is not available, the technical team can create it, they can develop it. And rest is functional. Usage, that is the primary area when you talk about any application. If you take project size as a 10, in Oracle Fusion, take anything. It may be SCM Finance, HCM, PPM. If you find 10 members team in any project, eight to nine members are functional only. No DBS admins are required in case of Oracle Fusion. The admin part, Oracle will take care. Hardly we may need developer, technical. That to one or two, not full time whenever you require their support will take. If a team size is 10, eight to nine members are functional. So there is huge demand for functional. Not only in Oracle application, you take any technology or any applications, every company is trying to reduce the burden of technical. So they are trying to create the applications which are very user friendly or, and solution friendly. So there is huge demand for functional, not for technical undo, this DBS. In Fusion, there is no need for DBS. In the Fusion, Oracle is taking care of the applications as a cloud solution. We'll discuss very soon why DBS are not required. Technical less demand. If you talk about before Oracle Fusion, we have EBS, prior version. There we need developers, the technical consultants we require. But in case of fusion, there is no huge demand for technical consultants. Always there is a demand for functional consultant. Now, who is the functional consultant? Who knows about the product, how to use? They are functional consultant. If you are going to learn financials, you will learn within the financials which applications we have, how to use each and every application you will learn. And you will be helping to the companies how to use the same applications in their organization you will be called as a functional consultant. You are not going to create something which is not there. If you are going to create something, 
you will be called as a technical consultant okay technical consultant scope is very less there is a huge demand for functional consultants so now the course what we are going to do that is a functional course okay that is a functional course here in any title you can include functional already included here functional functional here also you can say oracle fusion finance functional consultant oracle cloud financial functional consultant oracle fusion financial functional consultant everywhere you can include the name who is the functional consultant who knows about the application okay if you know how to use the facebook you will not be called as a consultant because you are using for your like it's a you are not you are going to help that application to use by someone else it's a self usage so here what are the applications you are going to learn you are going to help to some companies how to use these applications as per their business so that is the reason you are going to play consultant role means you will be telling them what is right what is wrong how best they can use this application since you are going to give some kind of consulting services you are going to help them to understand and use this application you will be called as a consultant that too you will be called as a functional consultant what you are going to do is how oracle is providing these applications you are going to learn as it is we are going to help to the businesses how those applications can be used by those companies you are not going to create anything no coding no programming no logics no need to break the head as it is one time learning it will remain forever today how companies are doing the business that will remain forever what companies do hardly they purchase they pay they sell they get the payments those are the key activities what they do as a business that will remain as it is forever accordingly these applications are designed and developed you are going to learn those applications how to record the transactions as per the company business process once you learn nothing is going to be changed down the line 5 years 10 years the business remain same as it is they do in the same way they purchase and pay they sell and collect so what you are going to learn that is going to be forever if you are going to learn something technical and uh, admin part these all keep changing the technologies the tools the logics and programming everything will keep changing and you have to upgrade all the time in case of functional one time learning all the time you will be keep using the same until unless oracle is going to upgrade it even if, if they upgrade business process what you learned nothing is going to be changed somewhere some small things may be updated that by seeing you can understand it will not become a challenge for us so this is all about functional so we are going to learn the functional course which is very easy just you are going to see how that applications can be used once you understand you can work as a consultant to help the companies to how those companies can use this application okay this is a very high level to understand so there are, there are like kind of discussions about real time also but here this is a simple point to understand what exactly we are going to learn what exactly we are going to learn how that applica these applications oracle financials applications how companies can use that we are going to learn and we are going to help to the companies when they want to use this is going to be our job as a functional consultant no programming coding no administration installations nothing so this is what we have to understand any questions here please and again there is huge demand for functional say there are eight eight consultants as a functional in the team and one two developers who will get on site opportunities only functional consultants primarily functional consultants will get on site opportunities dbs can sit anywhere and they can do that work or developers can sit anywhere they can do the work the functional consultants always you can find in the demand they can get the on site opportunities they can travel to client locations they can sit with the client they can discuss and when you talk about this oracle fusion financials you can find global opportunities okay the middle east countries or us uk and uh, or europe countries there are plenty of opportunities there are plenty of opportunities that you are not going to limited to very localized so once you learn this course you can target to work in any country 
if you are okay with this skill set there are plenty of opportunities which you can grab that's all about this course we'll go more detail level what we have inside of financials before we proceed with that any questions on these points please any questions here please okay no questions let's see what we exactly we are going to learn from financials i'll take you very high level okay i'll take you very high level so as a part of financials these are the core applications we are going to learn these are the core applications rest it's nothing just as a list you can see there is nothing much as a part of those applications as a part of our oracle fusion financials applications you are going to learn these five applications these we call as core financials applications within the financial these five we call as main primary key applications so from each application what you are going to learn again high level the detail level we'll see once we get into that application once we start working on that application we'll understand more detail level we'll discuss very everything very very detail level now to understand very high level there is one application called as oracle fusion accounts paper short name is ap in this application we are going to learn very simple activities how to create the supplier invoice how to make the payment if our company is purchasing something we get invoice from the supplier that we record in the accounts payable application as a supplier invoice or you can call as purchase invoice what information we can have within this supplier invoice who is the supplier how much amount we have to pay when we have to pay accordingly we make the payment these are the two key activities which we record within the oracle fusion accounts payable application within the accounts payable application we record the supplier invoices based on our purchases and we make the payment as per due date these are the two key activities within this application from oracle fusion accounts receivables short name is er from oracle fusion accounts receivable what exactly we are going to learn we will see how to create the customer invoices if you sell something to customer you have to send the invoice because you have to get the payment so customer invoices nothing but you can say billing we bill to the customer within the customer invoice we record who is the customer what is the customer address what we sold to that customer how much customer has to pay when customer is going to pay those details will include as a part of customer invoice and whenever customer will make the payment to us we record as a receipt this is nothing but cash receipt uh, and another application is oracle fusion fixed assets lakshman sorry i am interrupting uh, are we allowed to ask the questions in between yes you can stop me any time okay so lakshman this is ritesh i wanted to understand on the arps so when we talk about ar ar as per industry changes the module like when we are talking about the automotive industry they may have an different set up for the ar when we are talking about the real estate industry they may have a different setup see 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 one second one second so certain process may be certain things may be different do they send invoice to their customers or not so not only about no, no, don't mind don't mind answer to my question i'll answer to your questions my question is do they send the bill to their customers for the service what they are providing or goods what they are selling for that do they send invoice to their customers yeah for that you use the customer invoice depending on the industries okay so what they are doing if they are doing some project activities they use project applications along with these applications mm -hmm. if they are doing some contracting activity they use separate uh, contracting applications to support each and every business activities we have different different application now we are talking about only finance mm -hmm. okay so depending on the industry different different processes would be there when it comes to payables what you can do create invoice make the payment more than that nothing you can do take any industry there is no way to do within the payables apart from this in the same way in the receivables apart from these what else you are doing before or after to manage those there are many other applications no no my question was different so in ar we have like uh, salesforce or uh, we have many crms which comes into picture and then we have the billing module and then we have the dispatch module so are these part of the ar oracle 
no 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 see in ar you can record the customer invoice as you mentioned billing okay receipts customer payments the dispatching and all that is again it comes under supply chain management okay supply chain management dispatching the materials and all and uh, sales force etc that is a customer management customer crm customer relationship management for that from oracle also we have crm if any company wants to manage their customer relationship management they can use oracle crm applications along with this oracle crm application also they can use see that it's vast when you talk about complete process we are not going to learn the complete process so if you want to learn complete process you have to learn all this not only this there are many more so we are going to learn financials we are talking about what is the scope for these financials that's all yep to understand where these applications will be lying in the entire process we will have a separate session i'll talk about two business processes key business processes there you can understand even we are going to work on the financials you have to understand the things in the big picture for that i'll be taking one or two sessions where i'll talk about the end to end business process where it will kick start where it will end where our finance will come into the picture where other areas will come into the picture all those points will discuss okay now what we are trying to understand is within the accounts receivable application what we can do that's it okay so when we talk as an oracle financial consultant so are we in the market expected to be aware of the crms and no uh, no 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 you are expected to know these applications primarily the selected applications so who supports for those integrations like uh, when we are going technical, for technical technical consultant Uh, technical consultants are not going to interface for the CRM between exactly. CRM and the Oracle. Yes, yes. Any third-party application, any CRM, anything, they connect with the Oracle applications. If or if client is using Oracle CRM, no need to connect. There will be in inbuilt connection. Hmm. So interface they may build, but for guiding the client as to how those interfaces will work and how the setups will work, how will we get that uh, insights? they they will ask us they will ask what information we need into our uh, see you are going to get customer invoices into receivables you know how to create the customer invoice in receivables when you know this you can tell them these are the fields data i need it that's it for that okay. we have to prepare the document also that you will understand in the real time classes by standing here you cannot understand all those so when we are talking about this uh, course setup so do we have the Uh, written material also any study material sort of thing any sops which we have in place i'll cover all the scenarios i'll be writing in the spreadsheet concept setups process i'll take you through in the classes okay the same you can copy or else you will be getting the spreadsheet also the entire class discussion sheet will be getting you don't need more than that whatever okay. i explain whatever i show in the class you practice how many times you can practice you practice that is more than enough nothing else is required okay and when we talk about the production environment uh, you say you say your you questions i will take in the end of the session you are we are it's a slight deviation okay my target is explaining what you can learn from the financials okay you are trying to understand the big picture i'll explain if you want to understand but in the our course you will come to know but now itself if you want to understand i'll i'll tell you i'll, I'll talk i'll talk on that but we'll see in the end of the session if you don't mind okay thanks yeah great so from oracle fusion accounts receivables okay what we are going to learn how to create the customer invoices how to record the receipt okay it's all about billing and it's all about payments customer payments so whenever we get the payment from customer how to record in our system we'll see here and there is an application called as oracle fusion fixed assets within this fixed assets what are the assets we have in our company all you can record in the system by using this application all assets you can record in this oracle fusion fixed assets application so the land building furniture vehicles plant machinery whatever you have in your company all you can record based on the uses you can see how to calculate the depreciation you don't worry if you don't know the meaning of depreciation you'll come to know when we are working on the application there is another application called as 
Oracle Fusion Cash Management, by using this application, we can maintain our bank accounts. What are the bank accounts we have? All the bank accounts you can maintain within this cash management application and some other activities like reconciliations, bank account transfers, etc. we can perform within this application. And one more application is Oracle Fusion General Ledger application, GL. By using this application, we record the we just what are the data transactions we are, we are recording in all the applications the complete data will send to oracle fusion general ledger application here we can prepare the financial reports so within the fusion general ledger application or simply you can say gl within the gl we don't record the transactions the real transactions always we record in these applications here just bank accounts only so the real business transactions you record in these applications Ultimately, all the from all the applications, you send the data to Oracle Fusion General Ledger application. Here you can prepare the financial reports. So within the Fusion Financials, one second, one second. Don't stop me very often. Okay, you can, if you have a question, immediately make a note. I'll stop after a few minutes and you can raise your questions. So these are the core applications we call. Okay, these we call as core applications. Along with these five applications, we have few more applications. Say Oracle Fusion Expense. By using this application, what we can do is, what are the employees are spending as expenses, those you can record in this Fusion Expense application. Employee Expense Reports. Employee Expense Reports you can record in this application. So if you want to give some advance to that employee, that also you can record within this. So that is the purpose we use this Fusion Expense. It's a very small, simple application. What is the purpose? To record the employee expense reports. And Oracle Fusion Tax. In any application, say you are creating invoice in the accounts payables, tax need to be calculated. You can do that setup by using Oracle Fusion Tax application. In receivables, whenever you create the transaction, you want to calculate the tax. By using the Fusion Tax, you can do the tax configuration. So these are the applications we are going to learn as a key applications. Along with these, we are going to learn these two additional applications also. So when we are going to work on these applications, these are the separate areas. You don't need to treat these as applications. These are the separate areas, uh, product functionalities or features. So these will help us. How it will help? So you are creating invoice in the payables. Purchase supplier invoice you are creating. When you create supplier invoice, you want to set approvals. Somebody create supplier invoice. The invoice should go to manager for approval, then only it should be available for payment. If you want to set approvals for supplier invoices by using Oracle Fusion BPM, Business Process Management. BPM stands for Business Process Management. By using this application, you can set approvals for supplier invoices. And there is another application called as Oracle Fusion FSM. So these are not exactly application. These are the kind of areas within the fusion applications okay to support certain activities by using this oracle fusion bpm you can set the approvals wherever you require for which transactions you need appro approvals where approvals are applicable you can set up by using oracle fusion fsm fsm stands for functional setup manager what you can do is you can do the setups or you can call as configuration say i want to use oracle fusion accounts payable application to record supplier invoices and payments to take example, you want to use WhatsApp. What you have to do, you have to download and you have to install. Then you have to do some setups. You have to provide your username, your mobile number, some verification. Then you can upload your profile pic. This all you have to do, then you can start using it. Those all you can say setups. You are setting up WhatsApp, then you can use it. In the same way, if you want to use Oracle Fusion Accounts Payable application, you have to do a few basic setups. Then only you can create supplier invoice and payment. Say, for example, if you want to create the supplier invoice, you have to create the supplier. If you want to make the payment, you have to create the bank account. So those we call as setups. To use this application, what are the few setups you have to complete? Those setups you can complete by using this Oracle Fusion FSM. By using Oracle Fusion FSM, you can do any application setups so that that application would be available to use. You want to use this Oracle Fusion accounts receivable to create the customer invoices and receipts. By using this, 
you have to set up receivables application. You want to use fixed assets, set up fixed assets application by using this FSM, Functional Setup Manager. So any application you want to use, you have to set up by using FSM. And if you want to get access to any application, say there is one business user in the company that user is working for payables department. If the user is working for payables department, say user means employee. If the employee is working for payables department, that employee need access to this payables application. You have to give the access to that employee to payables application that you can do by using this more application. IDM or OOM, both are same. Those are two different names we have. That is the reason I took the two names. Oracle Fusion IDM. IDM stands for Identity Manager or you can call it as Oracle Fusion OIM, Oracle Identity Manager. Both are same. Both are same. What purpose we use this? Security purpose. If you want to create the users in the Fusion, you have to use this IDM or call as OIM. By using IDM only, you can create the users. There is one employee who is working for payables department. You want to allow that employee to create the supplier invoices. By using IDM only, you give the permission. There is one more employee who is working on the payment process. You want to allow that employee to access to the payments. Through IDM only, you can give the access. It means by using Oracle Fusion IDM, you can create the users and you can give the permissions to the users or you can give the access to the users they are related to what, what activities they have to perform within the Fusion applications. So it's all about security, okay? Or you can say security related administration part can be managed by this. And other, other area is Oracle Fusion Enterprise Structure. If you are going to implement this Oracle Fusion applications for your company, your client, how they are doing the business? In how many countries they are doing? In each country, how many branches they have? In each branch, what activities they are doing, the everything, reality, how they are doing the business, physically how they are doing the business that we have to bring into system environment. Virtually, we have to create everything in the system environment. For that, we use the concept called as Oracle Fusion Enterprise Structure. So with the Enterprise Structure concept only, you can just bring the client business environment into system environment. So that's what we are going to learn so as a part of Oracle Fusion Financials applications, these are the core applications, primary applications we are going to learn along with that, which is applicable, which is required. All these we are going to learn. These also we will learn, but don't think these are great. It's just very, very simple. These are very primary. Okay, we are going to learn these five applications. That point you can take, but you will come across all these. We'll be learning these things also. So when you learn the financials application, yeah, I'll proceed with a few other points before we jump into other areas of information. Any questions from anyone on these points, please? I had some. Uh, please. So one was like, uh, do we cover OTBI in this? Yes, that is a functional we have to learn. I'll cover. So OTBI will fall into which like reporting and all these things? Reports. Okay. Reports, every application, payables, receivables, fixed assets, cash management, general ledger, take any application. If you want to just view the data, if you want to do some analysis, you can use OTBA, Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. So we will learn to develop the OTBI reports also. It's not like developing, it's a functional. It's, you don't need to write any coding programming, simply drag and drop. That's all. Yes, you will learn that. Okay. Second was like, uh, do we cover the treasury management system also in this? Like, uh, treasury is a separate application. Treasury is separate. Sir, but now time, everyone wants techno functional. What is that, sir? So along with this functional, they learn technical also. Reality techno functional means they are technical. They know little functional. That's it. So it means more technical or more functional? More technical, less functional. That's a role of techno functional. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank so, you. PSM, yeah. PSM will be a separate module altogether. Sorry? PSM is a separate module. Treasury management system is an altogether. Oh, yeah, module. separate, separate application. Yes. And we cover Oracle ARCS is also into this. Ask. What is that? Oracle account reconciliation tool. 
oracle account reconciliation that is see that is again uh, 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 this is not part of this epm solution epm tool that is enterprise performance management epm tool the reconciliation and close consolidations those all are part of epm not part of this finance Achha, close consolidations will not be part of the like hyperion and, and yeah hyperion those are the hyperion that's separate but within our general ledger we will see the consolidation within our gl also we have consolidation that we will learn what you are talking that separate product altogether okay and then we have in the account what, one we'll... second one second since you are talking about that let me tell you what companies will do is so what are the data we have from the finance this data they will take into epm and they'll play with the reporting within the finance also they can generate the reports but there are some advantages in epm that is the reason for some companies will implement epm also enterprise performance management and there they can uh, do the budgeting uh, like uh, kind of forecasting and uh, reconciliations and closers all those activities they will do in that product that is separate product separate course that is not okay. part of our finance okay any so, other question sir will you cover analytics or reports yeah, analytics otba otba oracle transaction business analytics yes sir will yeah, you we'll cover that. Report? we'll see that yes okay sir thank you yeah when we uh, like i being in uh, industry for more than 20 years i want to understand when we talk to clients so they look for someone who has an experience in implementing the tool for them so what they look is like the person should have an experience on project management accounting as to how the project based accounting can be done so a project module should be there they should know how the vendor portal can be developed where the invoices can be submitted by the vendor uh, when we See, that's a different to... out of the scope out of the scope when you are working in the project if you come across something you take the requirement you help the technical team they get it done We'll keep testing. We'll take taking the approvals. That's how it happens. We are talking about finance. So project based accounting is not part of the finance module. Project based, we have a PPM, project portfolio management, separate your project costing, project billing, project contracts, project management, project resource management, everything, task management, everything you have as a part of this course, or you can say this solution PPM, separate. Okay. And uh, the vendor portal where the vendors can submit the invoices. Uh, That's a different. I supplier. That is a part of procurement. I okay. supplier we call. Okay. Okay. So when, talk, finance. so when we talk about the purchase orders raising and the GRM. Yeah, that that so is a part of SEM. Part of okay. You will come to know. You have to wait for some time. I will talk about walk through the complete cycle also after a few classes. Okay. Okay. When you understand the complete cycle. What falls where you can understand. You don't need to ask. Me. Just you have to wait for a few sessions. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Lakshman. Please. What about subledger sub subledger accounting? What do you mean by subledger accounting? I think uh, that is a separate module. I think uh, you not uh, added. Not. One. Not answer is not. That is not separate module. Okay. So when we are going to create invoices on the AP, AP, what you do? You create supplier invoice. You make the payment, right? When you create the yes. supplier invoice, system has to create the accounting. Okay. How accounting should be generated? The rules should be there in the subledger accounting. That is a concept. Okay. That is one of the future. So you take okay. anything. When you create invoice, accounting will be generated. When you create the payment, accounting would be generated. When you create the customer invoice, receipt, asset, depreciation, for all these different, different activities, system has to create the accounting, debit, credits, and all. The rules will be inside of subledger accounting. That is not an application. We are going to see in our class, we'll have one session on that. Okay. No. So in every application. Sir, one take, more question. One second. One second. One second I'll take one it. Any application you take. In any application, if you are going to record any transaction, any activity system, these applications will use that subledger accounting only. That is not an application. That is one of the concept. We'll see in our classes. We should understand. We okay. should know. Thank you. Take you through that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, please. Next question. Is, uh, Sir, Lakshman, uh, how Oracle Fusion is different from Tally Prime? 
<clears throat> so tally is nokia phone or okay question is iphone or samsung okay that's it but uh, we are using same function in tally prime and we are using same ap why, ar why people are not using nokia and other phones why everybody because interested to use iphones and samsung because it's outdated yeah this year also outdated when you compare with these those applications so it's a limited the tally doesn't have a capacity what you see in the oracle fusion you will come to know all those once you start getting into this course you will start finding the differences from your side okay, okay. that is small accounting package it's a very rich accounting package that's it okay sir yeah lakshman this expenses is i expenses in ebs or this yeah, is a yes, correct correct in ebs we call as i expense since the same we are using in the fusion we call, we are calling as a fusion expense same okay so okay yeah. this is in ebs ebt right if you are from ebs background ebt e business tax in fusion we are calling as fusion tax that's all So any other questions here based on these points whatever we discussed no okay now so we are going to learn financials applications for these rest these all we come across and the naiver applications are scm supply chain this is separate course but so the most of the people who are doing this courses no doubt they claim some experience 3 years 4 years 5 years experience they try for the job that's the reality in the market so if you go and talk to any 4 5 6 years of finance consultant they will aware of basics of scm also supply chain management for that reason i am going to include oracle fusion supply chain management the basic concepts you will understand okay what we can do within the oracle fusion inventory we set up and we'll test the transaction flow by using oracle fusion order management application what we can do within oracle fusion purchasing what we do when we are going to work as a oracle fusion financial functional consultant by learning all these what level of knowledge we require from scm that i will cover in our classes okay within the inventory primarily we maintain the stock within the order management application we record the sales orders and we process oracle fusion purchasing we process the purchase orders not only those when we get into that you will see more detail very high level these are the points our course is financials but we are going to learn basics from supply chain management also when we try for the job with 3 4 5 years of experience so they will expect you know basics from scm that is the reason we are going to include basic supply chain management along with our financials course but by scm is separate course altogether but here you are going to learn basics what really you required to have a better understanding as end to end process along with the financials okay and uh, along with that let me complete one more like a point to make you to understand in overall what we are going to learn from this course so after that we will have a questions and answers so this is our area as we discussed but when we are going to learn these definitely and along with that these two applications also we will learn when we are working on these applications we will come across all these it's a mandatory and the complete the selected area we are going to learn so so that we can work as a oracle fusion financial consultant when we are working as a oracle fusion finance consultant if we don't know this basic supply chain management we will have a challenges say we are going to create the supplier invoice means first purchase invoice will be created in the this purchasing application the purchase invoice will convert as a supplier invoice if you have some issue with the supplier invoice if you don't know the purchase order how it is created and the relevant information you have to completely depend on scm consultant and it will become challenge that is reason you will understand the basic supply chain management which will help you better to work on the financials applications so this is all about product learning 
you are going you are going to learn these applications what activities each and every department can do in the organization accordingly how that application can be implemented how that application can set up how we can record the transactions what are the different invoices we have what are the different payments is all we will learn after learning all these when you go for an interview when you attend definitely they'll ask real time for that purpose i'm going to cover the real time related uh, like sessions discussions how we can do the real time implementation what is the process is involved what are the steps what are the phases what are the activities who are involved what is the responsibility of functional technical so and so everything you'll understand the complete process of implementation in the same way support project process and what we do and what is the what are the different tools we use how that complete cycle will work and upgradation project process rollout project process and what documents we prepare as a part of real time implementations what are the different methodologies we use as a part of implementations and interview preparation if somebody is looking for cv we can help you to get the sample cv and the fusion financials and if somebody is planning for certification they can get help from us to get certified so these all are included but whatever i mentioned related to real time i created videos 15 hours videos 15 hours where i explained everything very very detail level okay 15 hours videos along with these classes you will get these videos the applications and all we are going to learn live classes only everything we discuss and we set up we test everything we do along with that real time related i'll be providing 15 hours recorded videos which i explained and which i generated so which are very very detailed you can go through it if you have any questions we can set up one meeting and we can discuss no worries those are very very detailed you will understand one way you are going to learn about the complete course of applications so that you will be strong with that skill set since you don't have any real time experience to make you to understand how things happens in real time what is your responsibility what is other responsibility how to interact with the client what documents we have to prepare how many steps are involved if you are going to do the implementation for 8 months 10 months 1 year what is the complete uh, plan of implementation what steps need to be followed what is the sequence what documents what activities what is crp what is uat what are the different different documents everything related to real time you will get to know within this 15 hours recorded videos which are explained by me very very detailed level from the scratch anyone can understand so that's how i'll provide these 15 hours videos the rest as i discussed this entire things to complete it will take 3 months time okay monday to friday and every day 1 hour 30 minutes and one more one second give me a few minutes and if you are planning to do this course these are very important first you should have a basic english communication skills you should be able to speak in english not a great english basic english without speaking without mistakes if you are able to speak any kind of english that is okay once you are okay with the basic english communication skills very important thing is product skill you have to be okay with these applications after completing this course if somebody is going to ask you if i want to use accounts payable application what setups required tell me you should be able to talk about it. how to create supplier invoice how to make the payment you should be able to speak out from this course what you are going to learn if you understand if you do in the system that is not enough you should be able to speak out that's very very important if you are able to speak then only you are functional so it's very important you have to focus on the product skills what you are going to learn you have to practice and you have to remember you have to recall all the content to speak you should be able to present it if somebody is going to ask you so what exactly you do in the accounts payable so explain in 10 minutes 15 minutes yes after completing the course you will be able to speak for one hour also about accounts payables more than that also okay so you can speak but you have to do all those activities you have to get ready for that so along with this learning you are expected to have a basic knowledge in this word excel ppt you may spend one hour time per word excel one hour ppt one hour you may spend 
four to five hours to learn this, that basic level knowledge is enough. So when you are working on these applications, sometimes you may have to create PPT, sometimes we have to draft, uh, enter the data in the Excel, sometimes we have to create the document. This is all I just explained, like what documents we have to create as a part of real-time projects, there I explained, but basic MS Office knowledge is required. You may spend five, six hours to acquire some basic level of skill, how these applications can be used. And Oracle SQL, you spend one, two hours in the YouTube, you go to YouTube and search for Oracle SQL, basic SQL queries. There'll be one video, you play it, that knowledge is enough. Anyway, I'm going to show in the class how, where you can write SQL queries within our application. And email writing, okay? Today, what you are, how you are writing emails, I'm not sure how you are writing. So when we are going to work in the project, we have to send emails to team members, project manager, client, and you should know how to write emails, how you should not write emails. You may spend two to three hours how to write the business emails. Okay, there will be set of guidelines, how the subject should be uppercase, lowercase, or what should, if you are writing some email, how many parts you have to split that entire uh, email body and how that uh, message need to be represented. This is all you have to learn. You may spend two to three hours, you may play some one or two videos in YouTube to learn and to understand or else you can read some articles, okay, in the Google to understand how to write the professional emails. You have to focus on all these. Okay, this part I'll take care, but this you have to take care. This Oracle SQL one hour, you can play one Oracle basic SQL queries. Okay, Oracle basic. Spend one hour, what you see there, that is enough. You are not going to write SQL queries all the time. If sometimes if required, simply you will go and write select star from so-and-so table, it will display the data. That anyway, I'll show in our classes also. So this is expected from your end. And if you are planning to do this course, you have to invest time. If you just attend these classes, that is not at all you, enough. You don't get anything. If you are attending the classes, if you are understanding whatever I'm explaining, that is not enough. You have to invest your time. You have to practice multiple times. Whatever I am going to explain in this course, you have to make a note, you have to read, you have to memorize. You should be able to speak out. If it is possible, you can give the presentations in your home or room. When we were conducting these classes, classroom trainings, we made everyone mandatory to give the presentations. They have to take the feedback in every day, whatever we discuss, whatever they are practicing. So that's how we used to conduct the classes and we do we used to do the exercise, but now it's a completely online. So you have to take initiative, you have to give the presentations, how to prepare this course. I will take one session, complete session I'll take, I'll explain. So how you have to plan to prepare and where you have to focus. So what should be the, the learning strategy that everything I will explain going forward. So this is all about the course, what we are going to learn. Okay. So we are done for today. If you have any questions, please stay back. We'll discuss in the tomorrow session. We will focus on these points today. What we discussed, we discussed about what is the meaning of Oracle? What does it mean by applications? And what does it mean by financials? In tomorrow's session, we'll focus on what the, what what I mean, what is the meaning of fusion? What do you mean by cloud applications? So these are the two areas we are going to focus in the tomorrow session. If time permits, we'll proceed a few other topics also. Otherwise, we'll be working on what does it mean by fusion and cloud. So we're done for today. If you have any questions, you can stay back. We will discuss. If no questions, we'll connect tomorrow, same time. Thank you all. Good night. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Lakshman. Lakshman, this is Ankit. Can you hear me? Please, yeah. Thank you. I have a couple of I have a couple of questions. First is, are we coming P2P, procure to pay? Yes, you will learn. We are going to work on. This is what, that's what I mentioned here. When we are going to touch this, we'll be learning across this finance and SEM application, P2P cycle, O2C cycle. Right, perfect, perfect. You learn okay, that, Otherwise, that's what. See, if you are limited, say, if you are not going to learn all those things, you are going to create the supplier invoice. What, happens, yes. what is the background? Where the process <laughs> yes. started? Because course is finance. Yes, I can limit your learning to finance, but when you are working, you will have challenges. Yeah. Right? That on. I can understand. So see, you know, one thing, 
the people who are attending these classes now who are in this demo session or who are going to subscribe this course many guys doesn't know what exactly they have to learn they might be knowing oracle fusion finance is a nice course to do mm -hmm. right i right. know very well what you should learn so that you can crack your interview and you can survive after getting into project perfect yes so i am and... taking the responsibility so what really you need i know very well that i am going to cover right and another question sorry yeah. are we in the middle of middle of uh, when we are working on the dev instance or something are we going to uh, or are we going to do some regression or uat testing as well yes in that or... yes you will you will come across all those perfect okay okay, okay. so we do some integration based uh, processes within the application everything everything we do yes yeah, sorry why i'm asking this question i'm working for this company um, okay and they have some openings See, it's, it's very simple let me put in this way mm -hmm. when we are going to work as a oracle fusion finance consultant it could be any role okay mm -hmm. so what you should aware that you will learn from this course there are many things which you may not speak and do, which i may not speak now which we are going to see in the classes mm -hmm. i got so, tomorrow I got i'll introduce the course curriculum also okay so that many questions will be answered god god thank you so much i really appreciate that thank you. thanks Let questions me, please uh, one question let me yeah. know this is common here yeah good uh, in this course uh, are you when uh, uh, that if, if you don't mind uh, can you try to increase the volume i'm okay i can but it may be uh, okay okay you uh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm, I'm sorry this uh, setups like hsn based on the tax rules and uh, state based on the tax breakup all the setups also you are covering yeah we'll see we'll see uh, when we will take the case as us taxation like you know so if they want to calculate the tax uh, state level or other levels how to set up how based on that rule how tax will be calculated you'll come to know okay and one more last question uh, in this costing module like averaging cost and for standard cost which one we are taking? costing is not part of finance that is oh. within the scm cost uh, cost management is uh, one application Okay, that is not okay. Good. Tomorrow, nobody is going to ask you, are you a cost expert? If you say finance, you can say this, you are strong in the five finance applications. And along okay. with that expense tax, you know, that's it. That's more than enough. It's not part of this because when you are going to record the AP invoice, no cost. When you are recording the air transaction, no cost, right? When you are creating the purchase invoice based on that receipts and all within the inventory, costing will come into picture or else okay. sales order process. SEM part, you you don't need to worry about it. When you are learning SEM, you will learn that costing. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lakshman, this is okay. I have one question. Please. When we are talking about the practice on the test instance, so are you going to give the test uh, sample cases also, which we need to test to see what testing we need to do and what will be the outcome for those two? Tests? I will run in front of you. I will run all those that you will practice from your end. That's it. By covering okay. all the concepts, I will run through that uh, cases, all the cases that you can uh, consider as a test case for you when you are going to practice. That's it. So anything in written which we'll get after the class? Written, I will write, I'll write everything. Say, for example, you are going to create supplier invoice. Okay. What setups required, I will list out. What process need to be followed, I list out. There'll be complete information. You can open the Excel sheet and you can do in instance. That's it. You don't need to depend on anything else. Okay. Okay. And one more thing, like when we talk about the uh, Oracle Fusion, so there may be regular updates which may keep happening. So what is the best way to keep that uh, yourself updated? So yeah, one point important. is very important. Now Oracle Fusion Finance is very much stabilized. Okay. Every quarter, Oracle is applying the patches every quarter. But there are no great changes in those. I'll show you an instance where you can find those changes also. Okay. So how do we keep ourselves updated? You will, I hope you, you will. You can it. see there. I'll, I'll show you where you can find. You can just, uh, you can go there and you can see. And as I mentioned, no great updates because it's uh, very much stabilized. But still, if you want to keep watch on that, where Oracle will display that information. I'll show you when we get into the classes. Okay. And second, like uh, you talk about the certification. So are, what, what kind of certification support will we get? Will we get any certification material 
or question paper answers solutions or i'll answer this offline let me pause the recording okay. yeah please go ahead so if we are working at a client side which is a sort of startup and are going to implement uh, oracle so we as functional consultants are expected to implement the oracle which uh, license we may have to buy the uh, organizations do support for that so there are sort of standard solutions so how do we come to know which solution we need to apply for and what all things are there in order no, no, one second this uh, you, you are going to work as a consultant this is not your job okay you are going to work for one project as a consultant it means for the company you are working they own the project say you are working for one second one second 90% guarantee was done now one second one second please see. yeah yeah so if you are working for infosys if you are working as oracle fusion financial functional consultant if infosys get project you will be part of that implementation project as a consultant how they got the project there will be sales team pre sales team they will talk to the client they convince the client they get the project they'll understand their business they'll look at that the foot, footprint to whatever the systems they are using and which systems they are going to replace with this fusion applications and which applications the best fit as per their business process which application the client has to take the subscription they'll take the sir they'll complete everything then you will get into the game of implementation you are not going to decide anything okay during implementation i think like uh, when we were working with the clients and when we were working with the organization their expectations were that at any roadblock they will ask us like what is the solution you propose what are the things which we can work ahead simple so, very simple so you learn this course when you learn the course you will understand what we have in each and every application if as per client business requirement if client says something so and so this is what i need you can cross check with your knowledge or with applications if that is not their side forward you can say this is not possible if client says how we can achieve it if there is something called as work around alternative way of doing that we can suggest otherwise you can say directly not possible it doesn't fit that's it and depending on the application okay whether they are going to use saas or pass we have to take the decision those will understand in the tomorrow session when we talk about cloud what can be customized what cannot be customized okay any questions from anyone please okay seems to no questions great so thank you so much we'll connect tomorrow same time thank you all thank you thank you mr yeah. thank you